you should be able to see my uh, exchange trade UI. You got it. All right. My name is Travis Mathis. I'm a core developer at Market Protocol, and we're going to be demoing our uh, off-chain solution to um, dealing with looking up um, market contract data. So um, dealing with building up data from the block, the blockchain is great because the, the data you're building up off chain um, is actually, is really, it, it's really doesn't matter. Like if it, if it ever goes bad, you have the best backup you could ever possibly imagine a perfect exact replica in the blockchain that you can rebuild your database from at any time. So it's really neat in that aspect that using the blockchain as your database backup allows you to do some pretty neat things when listening to events um, that are that are emitted when we do specific actions within our contracts. Um, so we over the last few weeks we've been building um, what we've dubbed the service listener. Um, the service listener is uh, one of our open source repositories and you can look at it um, over here. And what it's essentially doing is it's a basic node app that's running and listening for blockchain events, which we then store currently in a Postgres database, but you could easily um, put this into something that's decentralized. Um, if you're building a decentralized DEX like Luzel or any of the other future decentralized database options that are coming down the pipeline. Um, and so the idea was to get uh, what was roughly taking us about 30 seconds to build up every time you wanted to explore our contracts. Um, so I'm going to give you a brief demo of what it, life was like currently or before we built the service listener um, in the DApp. And what we're going to be focusing on here is this contract widget. Um, and we're going to load all of the contracts that currently exist um, within market from the blockchain and show you roughly what it takes. Um, it's about 30 seconds. And so you'll notice that we're sent, well, that didn't work as expected. I forgot to save my code, one second. That's actually what it's like without the blockchain. Um, and so now you'll see the difference. So what you just saw was what it's like loading it um, from the service listener API. So the service listener is always listening for blockchain events anytime it hears one. It sends an API call out to our data uh, to our API, which then saves the new updated information to our database and allows us to pull that data from an API versus loading it all from the blockchain, which to do this, we have to build up all the transactions and then hunt through the transactions. And there's a lot of work that goes on. So you can see that this isn't a great user experience at all. Like nobody wants to come to a website and sit here and watch the market as cool as it is load for this long. Um, and eventually you'll see that it will load all the same contracts that I'll show you again. And um, I will put it back the way it should be once it loads. And so you are getting also a brief demo of the new um, exchange and trade UI that we're actively working on. Um, yeah, so sometime today it will actually load contracts. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Yes. Wow, Travis, that's a huge improvement. Yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> so I will roll it back now. We won't actually wait for it to load all the way. Um, I'm going to roll it back and not load it from Web3 anymore. And so the whole idea was just to be able to decrease the load time, obviously. And so we've gone from 30 to 60 seconds down to about 250 milliseconds. Um, and so um, you can see that that pretty much loads just as you would expect any website to load with any type of data. Um, and so this is also, but you can see the difference here, um, the loading contracts. Um, and so in development load, we're able to um, at any time request a load from Web3 for various testing purposes, just to make sure that everything is working. Um, but you can see that that's pretty much made um, interacting with the blockchain data, just as you would expect any web app to be. Um, and that data is, you know, at any point, if it ever is, is, is messed up or we lose track or we get out of sync, we can easily rebuild the entire database from the history of the blockchain. So you always have an, an up-to-date backup. Um, never fails, you'll never lose it. 
It'll never get corrupted in a, in a, in a bad tape. It'll never get lost. It'll always be there as long as the Ethereum network is running. So that's pretty cool. Great demo, Travis. It's uh, it's huge. 